Hello everyone. With the strong performance we achieved in the fourth quarter and for the full year in 2018, Sanofi has delivered on its promise to shareholders while bringing important new medicines and treatments to patients around the world. In the fourth quarter, we delivered a business earning per share of almost 5%. For the full year, adjusting for currency fluctuations, our sales were 34.5 billion euros with a full year EPS of 5.47 euros, which is at the high end of our guidance. We saw significant double-digit growth in our specialty care business, Sanofi Genzyme. We also benefited in the quarter from the continued growth in our vaccines and consumer healthcare businesses. We have delivered important launches, Dupixent, Liptayo and Cablivi, and the acquisitions of Bioverative and Ablinks provided the foundation to build a leading rare blood disorder franchise and to enhance our biologic discovery capabilities. Of course, the losses of exclusivity continued to be visible in the performance of diabetes and cardiovascular franchise in our primary care business unit. But we are seeing strong sales growth in this franchise in emerging markets, as well as significant growth from new products in mature markets, both diminishing the impact of losses of exclusivity. In emerging markets, we have again seen quarterly growth of 6%, driven by a particularly strong performance in Asia led by China. Additionally, our simplified structure incurred in our five global business units and global functions improves our focus and alignment. These will drive over time superior performance and deliver efficiencies in key areas. We have met all of our financial objectives for 2018 and have returned to growth. Our 2019 financial guidance to investors sets our target for EPS growth between 3 and 5%. Turning to our innovative R&D pipeline, we had a number of important developments since our last update. Our monoclonal antibody, Isatuximab, has met its primary endpoint in relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. We have also seen an FDA priority review for Dupixent for adolescents with moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. A few weeks ago, we announced the restructuring of our immuno-oncology collaboration with Regeneron to provide greater flexibility for Sanofi to advance our early stage pipeline. The next chapter in our R&D evolution starts in 2019. Specifically, we will look to prioritize our R&D focus in specialty care and vaccines. Our goal is to achieve a pipeline comprised mostly of Sanofi-developed biologics that are either first-in-class or best-in-class in areas of high unmet medical need. So, to sum up, we had a good performance both in the fourth quarter and in the full year. We met several key milestones that have returned Sanofi to growth. Moving forward, we will continue to innovate to lay the groundwork for our future success. Thank you for watching.